Hey Thickies, welcome back to Thick Girls Guide, your official guide for all things fashion, trends, style, lifestyle, and traveling. And I am back with another Amazon travel gadget guide. Um, if you haven't seen my first one, I will definitely link it at the end of this video, but that did so well that I wanted to share another one with you guys since I have found more amazing items since then. And of course, everything will be linked down below. So if you would like to purchase it, you can. It is an Amazon affiliate link, so I want, just want to be transparent about that. I will make a small commission if you do use one of my links. So if you do, thank you in advance. And if you don't, that's totally fine as well. And I hope you enjoy the video. So let's dive right in. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the Thick Girl Gang. And give this video a thumbs up. Let's get into it. And I have also broken up this list into three different categories. So first we will start with packing. So first up, you all know that I am obsessed with sunglasses. I probably have about 25 to 30 pairs and I'm not exaggerating. Um, all cheap ones. I don't spend money on those designer ones <laughs> because I just love too many different styles. And if I just scratch them or throw them in my bag or whatever and they break, no big deal because they were like, you know, 10 bucks. So when I go somewhere, I usually do bring at least two pairs of sunglasses. Um, so what I found on Amazon is a little case that you can put them in and basically unrolls. This one holds three pairs, which I think is more than enough for any trip. And they do sell ones that have, I think like four pairs, five pairs, and maybe even six pairs. Honestly, I think that's a bit overboard personally. But if you want to rock, you know, 20 pairs of sunglasses on your vacation, who am I to stop you? So basically they have a little Velcro strap here. And then you just toss your sunglasses in and then strap them on in there and then they kind of just sit in there like that and then it rolls up and snaps closed so your sunglasses aren't going to get smashed by your luggage or you know the luggage people throwing your stuff all crazy at the airport these are going to be safe and sound i also went with a three because i didn't want it bigger than that because you're already limited with space when you're traveling. Obviously, if you're going carry on only, I probably wouldn't even bring this. <laughs> uh, but I always check a bag and bring a personal item on the plane. I have no problem with checking my bag. I've never had an issue with it. But I know a lot of people prefer carry on only. In that case, you may not want to do this. Just saying. I mean, I guess you get your personal item too. But still, it's a little bit bulky if you're trying to go minimal. I will say that. So in that case, I would just get like a hard case for one pair of sunglasses and call it a day. But for me, the overpacker, we're doing this. Okay, so the next thing that I have uh, is a set of packing cubes and they are adorable. Okay, so <laughs> this is the print on the packing cubes and then they have this gorgeous rose gold zipper. This is the large one. This is my only gripe and it has a handle on it is these are tiny. Um, I really thought they were going to be larger than they are, but I still love them. So what I do is I just put smaller items in this. So like bra, underwear, socks, little things like that. Um, this is the second one. So it comes with a set of three, all the same pattern, obviously. And then this is the tiny little one. So this one is the perfect size for my travel hangers. So that's what I keep in here. 
if you didn't see my last video, these are freaking genius. So this segues into the next one, but I think you get a set of 12 when you order these, but they fold up like, you know, this is like a child size garment. You fold it out, it's an adult size garment and they get super tiny. They are extremely lightweight and flat and they fit perfectly in my third little tiny packing cube here. So you could also probably put some like little toiletries or you know whatnot in there as well. But the only thing I wish these were a little bit bigger, but I am obsessed with the print and the style of them. Um, they're also mesh here. So if there, if there has to be something wet in there, it helps it to dry. So overall I've used those several times. They are adorable, highly recommend them. But for clothing, if you want to pack quite a bit into packing cubes, those are not it. And on my last video, I did show some other ones that were larger packing cubes with, with compression so that they squish things down. Next up is a toiletry bag. I absolutely love the color of this. Also matches the kind of mauve color on those floral packing cubes. But this is cool because it, so when it's zipped up, so it zips all along the sides here. Zipper up, okay. So zips up there, so obviously nothing falls out. Has a handle, has a little pocket in the front here. But when you unfold it, you could fit a lot in here. And it also has a hanger, so you can actually hang it. So you actually don't have to unpack anything. So let me try to get back here a little bit. Okay, so that's the whole thing. There also is a, there is a smaller version of this where I think it just has, like it's just three, I think, instead. So it's like that big instead. But you know, I'm over packer, <laughs> so I needed the big one. Anyway, but there's all sorts of little compartments. I love that it's like this um, vinyl that's easy to clean if anything spills. There's a ton of different compartments. You can see the elastic parts in there where you can um, secure items. And I love, again, that it has a hanger, so it just makes it so much easier. You get to your destination, you unzip this sucker and hang it wherever there's a little hangy thing um, or hook and bam, you're done. And you can just work out of that. Makes it so much easier when you're traveling. And this is just, to me, it was just genius. It was a no brainer. I had to get it. Next is an array of backpacks. Obviously I'm not gonna take a million backpacks when I travel, but I will show you the ones that I have recently come across because the Backpacks that I would always take as my personal item on an airplane to hold. Um, I really, I don't trust in my luggage all of the expensive electronics, so I keep those on myself at all times when traveling. So I always use a backpack because I hate shoulder bags. They hurt. We are walking hella far in the airport it starts to get painful, it's heavy on your arm. I just find, and then you have to like deal with it like slipping off all the time. So I just prefer a backpack and I have for a really, really long time. I love to be hands-free. Also, if you're going out on excursions and whatnot, I also prefer a backpack. So I do have a, a separate backpack for that that I will also be showing you that I've used for years and absolutely love it. So what I would typically use previously was a Betsy Johnson. It was like a leather backpack that I got from TJ Maxx. And it's so cute, I just don't want to destroy it because travel is tough on um, like luggage and bags and stuff like that. So I was on the look for like a really cute travel friendly backpack and I actually found two. And I was, I was gonna like decide which one I liked the best, but then I like both of them. So I feel like I'm just gonna keep them both whatever. Anyway, um, <laughs> quarter of backpacks. Anyway, so this is the first one. And this does come in a few different color combinations. But this is it's, it's almost like a purpley gray, it's coming up a little bit more gray gray on the camera. But it has the gold hardware as well. I love that there is several different compartments, actually, like a lot of different compartments on this. So it helps to keep you organized. But on the sides, of course, we have the water bottle, there are elastic um, little straps here to keep it snug on both sides. So kind of bring you in there. There is the front pocket here 
and the liner is if you can see it's kind of like a striped print super cute i love the kind of chevron pattern here and then this front compartment also opens but i love how it doesn't open down all the way so it's not gonna like flop over and like lose everything but there are pockets in here there's another zipper compartment right there for you then on the side here this is where you can actually hook up your power bank inside the backpack and if you need to charge your phone or anything like that, you just plug it into this outlet right there. So super easy. You don't have to rummage through everything. That is one of the things I was specifically looking for on these travel bags. The next part is it does have a top handle here. The straps are pretty like plush, obviously adjustable. And then it has the main compartment here and it does come with the cord for the battery then there is for your laptop that keeps it snug in this section here and on the back side there is another pocket zip pocket there so definitely a ton of different compartments in this bad boy and the last compartment is on the very, very back here. Actually, there's, hold on, there's one more. But you could also put your laptop in that section. The other one is a little bit more padded, but it's, um, this is something, I would probably put something flat in this because it is right up against your back. So it keeps it a little bit more comfortable. And this is kind of like a little secret compartment here so this would be fantastic for like your wallets your passport something that you want to make sure is very close to you and that nobody can just unzip and take out unfortunately there are those people in the world you always have to account for something like that especially when you're traveling the next thing it has is this strap here on the back so you could strap um, or use like a carabiner hook or something like that if you needed to hook anything back there as well. So overall, love the look of this, love how many compartments it has. Again, the external little um, port here, fantastic. And will not be sending this one back. Looking forward to using this. I am going to Hawaii in March. Um, I will be filming a bunch of videos for you guys over in Hawaii but this is when I will try this bad boy out. But overall, really great quality and excellent price for the quality that you're getting. Okay, and my last bag that I'm gonna show is a very small um, backpack. This is more of a hiking backpack. I love, love, love this thing for taking it out on excursions when we go. Um, you can pack, you've got little like a section for waters here on the side or a water bottle and it just is the perfect size where you're not going to be able to overstuff it but you can also carry a good amount of items that you need so if you need like any kind of you know water and snacks and a change of clothes maybe i also when we go out i you obviously take like your you know documentation if needed like um wallet and all of that good stuff and i have used this a bazillion times it still looks brand new it's not faded or fraying or anything like that so super super good quality and it has like um, several different compartments so we've got the little front compartment that just opens up in here this also comes in a bunch of different colors so I think there's like lime green there's black there's orange there's obviously hot pink I think there might be a teal or purple one but tons of different options and then it also has kind of these outside little spots where you can hook things onto it like right here if needed little carabiner hooks if you if you'd like to and then it has two different compartments so there's this front compartment here and it has like a little divided section there so you can kind of keep things organized and then the main part okay so the main part has like a little zippy bag up there and then here it's got like a little pocket and then the main compartment in there so absolutely love this thing highly recommend it 
and we'll link it down below. It's by Sun Hiker is the brand of it. Um, and then you also have the adjustable straps. So it also has the little crossbody strap where you can kind of hook it for more security. And there's also one down here. So if you want to hook that around your like waist for extra security, you can. So like if you were, I don't know, like rock climbing or something, obviously I'm not gonna go climb rocks, but I have gone on like four wheeling tours and whatever. And then I strapped the GoPro to the, um, there's like a the shoulder strap here. So I have like a little attachment. So this thing has been through some excursions for sure, but highly, highly recommend that. Okay, the next thing that I have for you are these reusable little shoe bags. So it comes with six. I don't know if I need six, but that's what it came with. But I really liked the different floral patterns that you get. So you get two of each pattern but it unzips, you put your shoes in there and zip it back up when you're um, packing. You can also hang them. So there is the um, loop that you can hang it if you need to, but you don't want your shoes touching all your clean clothing. Like they have been all over the ground and are disgusting. So this is definitely a way to prevent that from happening. And on top of that, you could take an extra one for like your dirty clothes as well, or like wet swimsuits or something like that as well, if you need to. So like if you're moving to multiple destinations and your swimsuit's not quite dry, throw it in one of these, throw it in your bag, pull it out at the next stop. Or if you're just coming home, again, same thing, toss it in here. It's not getting all your other clothes wet and nasty. Um, so multiple uses for those. So I am glad that it came with multiple. And the last thing for this category is the multi-card organizer. So it's a bifold wallet and it does block RFID readers from scanning your card information as well. So it snaps closed, but there is two zippers on top here. This also comes in a bunch of different other colors. There's glitter ones, there's other floral patterns. I thought this would be a little bit more gray, but it is pulling more blue in person. So I may switch it for a different pattern but this one just kind of can hold coins and maybe some cash in there secured with the zipper and then the rest of it folds open like that or like that so you can definitely put your id in there different credit cards all sorts of stuff in here so i thought that was super cute and wanted to show you all that the next category is beauty and hygiene. So the first item up is a silicone makeup sponge case. So this is it. I got the blush pink one, but it's also ventilated on both sides so that it doesn't um, get all mildewy and it can dry out. And just slides apart. So super easy, super flexible. Um, I thought this was great because the makeup sponges, if it, if they haven't been cleaned in a minute, <laughs> they can get nasties all over your other stuff. So I love that it is contained. And these are just like super fun and little squishy things. And the next thing that I picked up, I never want to forget tweezers when I'm going on vacation. One, in case your eyebrows are unruly, you got to pluck some like beard hairs coming in, you know, <laughs> or like you have, you get a splinter or something like that. So what I found and I actually ordered these on accident, I was ordering another pair. I have a Tweezerman brand hot pink regular size tweezer that I've had for years, but then I lost them. But now since then I found them, but I ordered another pair because I thought I had lost them all together. And I accidentally ordered these mini tiny little baby ones. So it comes in like the little tube case here, but they're just tiny little pair of tweezers. And Tweezerman is a fantastic, or Tweezerman, um, is a fantastic brand. Again, my hot pink set of tweezers God, I've had that thing for probably 15 years and 
they're still hands down the best tweezers I've ever had in my life. They actually grip things, okay? And that's like cheap tweezers won't. So I figured I was like, let's throw this in my travel bag so I never have to worry about forgetting tweezers anywhere I go. So I thought I would recommend those little guys. To go along with that, since we're speaking of little baby miniature things, this was probably the most popular thing from my last travel haul. So I just wanna give her an honorable mention, but it is the Tiny Travel Venus Razor. And I love that it comes in its own little case. So stinking cute. And again, it's just the handle's tiny. The, this is a full size blade on there and you can put any Venus razor head on this thing. So if you already have a Venus razor, you already have the heads, I'm sure. You just need the little body thing. So I just keep this stuck in my travel bag. If I could get her to sit back in there. Okay, so I just keep this in my little travel bag. So it is ready to go when I travel along with my little baby tweezers. The next thing that I picked up is this silicone hot tool holder. So I have a bag for my um, flat iron, but it is very bulky. So I wanted something just very slim, lighter weight. So basically like if you use your flat iron or curling iron or whatever, and you've got to leave and throw it into your bag, obviously you would have to wait for it to cool. But with this, you just stick them on in there and toss it in your bag. It's not gonna burn anything. And then also when you are flat ironing, you can put this on the counter as a protector and just lay the hot tool right on top of it. So these are super inexpensive and are multifunctional <laughs> for multiple items. You could probably fit two curling irons in there or a flat iron and a curling iron as well. So we'll hold more than just one tool. Another thing that I always take when traveling is a Tide to Go stain remover pen. If you're packing here, it's always a shelf <laughs> when you're eating. <laughs> so something's bound to get on there, at least for me. If you don't have that problem, consider yourself blessed, <laughs> but I do. So therefore I always take these. They're also sold in like a three pack on Amazon. So I'm pretty much always like loaded up with these things. You can also toss one in your purse if you need it just in everyday life, throw one in your travel bag, super easy and great way to just remove a stain on the go. The next thing is, I don't know how I came across these, but it's adorable. You definitely need a little travel first aid kit. Granted, are you gonna have like all the major stuff? No, but what I love about this, and this is from Welly, and they come with a bunch of different colors and stuff like that, but it is a reusable tin and what comes inside of it is an array of bandages. There's also some um, antibacterial ointment, and I think there's burn cream in here as well. Hand sanitizer or instant sanitizers. What else? Yeah, triple, triple antibiotic ointment. Okay, and then the Band-Aids are like, adorable okay so super cute but what i also love about this is that you can once you use it you can refill it with whatever whatever you want to um, and it is this cute little compact case so easy to toss in your little excursion bag in case you know especially if you have kids they're always like jacking themselves up right trying to cutting them cutting their feet or hands or whatever getting scratches all that stuff so great to have on the go you can also put in some other stuff in here if you want to like you could definitely take out um, some of these items if you want and put other things in like little like aspirin ibuprofen or whatever in here as well so cute little travel first aid kit that i thought was adorable and a must-have I've also recently picked up this uh, Body Glide for her anti-chafe and moisturizing balm. So if you're plus size, you know the chub rub is real and it gets real and comfortable real fast. So I always, like if I'm wearing dresses or skirts, I typically have like the Spanx shorts on so that prevents chub rub, but I don't always wanna have to wear 
like Spanx because sometimes they get annoying, right? But this is, is a little, kind of almost like a little deodorant looking bar. You can put that um, like between your thighs or anywhere that's chafing. And it basically gives you like a, it's like a balm to prevent the chafing from happening. And there's really not a fragrance to it. This I haven't personally tried out actually, so I just got this recently to try out and taking it to Hawaii. So if you have actually tried this, let me know how you liked it down below in the comments. This one had really good reviews and it was actually recommended by several other YouTube travelers. So I thought I would give it a try. The next thing that I have here are these portable perfume bottles. So I typically, I don't use like really expensive perfumes. I really just do Bath and Body Works. So this is what it looks like. It comes with five different colors and I already filled one of these up. Let me find which one it is. I think it's this one. Okay, so I did fill this one up so you can kind of see the liquid in there. Okay, but basically instead of having to bring the whole bottle, or if you do have really expensive perfumes, like Honey Boo Boo has like quite a few different colognes that he likes, but they are all like the designer ones and they're expensive. Um, so obviously you don't wanna throw that whole bottle into your bag because it they're big and they're heavy. So what you do is on the bottom here, you basically, this this whole thing comes apart, but basically you're, you put that on, the sprayer of your bottle and you just push down and that actually moves the liquid up into this little cartridge and then once you're done you just kind of wipe it off and then it it's in there for you to spray so these are so freaking cool and I saw um, another youtuber uh, was trying these out and I just thought they were so handy and so nifty um, also this prevents you like even if you use Bath and Body Works where it's not so expensive their smaller ones I think are like three point something ounces like TSA approved but realistically when you're on vacation you're going to be using like you know maybe that much of it so it's still you're taking a ton more liquid than you need adding weight adding bulk and these are just so much more simple and then you could probably throw a label on there if you wanted to or you should know your scent so probably just spray it and you'll be fine um, but they're also um, different colors here as well so you can do you know like his for those two and then hers for these two or whatever you want to do but this comes with five um, they also sell them um, just a single color as well but I thought the color coding would really help to remember which one's which but those fantastic find the next thing that I have is a portable travel blow dryer and I love that it comes in its own little case. Okay, so this is from Laura, L-U-R-A. And this is just adorable, first of all. So this is the mini blow dryer. So you can see it folds down very compact and then bam, she's full size now. Well, she's she's travel size but whatever <laughs> and so there's a high and low setting you can also change it from 125 volts to 250 but on top of that what she also comes with besides the little baggie is the tools to put on here so we have like the I don't even know what this is officially called, but to like straighten your hair basically, to do like kind of, you know, get it dry and more targeted areas. And then it has the diffuser for like curly hair. So it just clips on to the baby blow dryer. Bam. And now you have a diffuser. Okay, so while the hotel ones are great, if you've got like multiple women in one hotel room, we're gonna be waiting forever for the hair dryer or whatever. So that is something, that's when I would bring this along typically. Or if I am going over like overseas and there's not a blow dryer or not a guaranteed blow dryer in a hotel room or something like that, then you can always bring that. It also comes with a travel adapter. So you actually don't even need the little travel 
adapter thing for my last video, it already comes with it. So that is another thing that I really liked about it. All in this little bag. Um, I don't take this on every trip by any means. Typically, if it's just me and Honey Boo Boo or like me and one other person and there's a hairdryer in the room, I'm not gonna bother wasting space with this. But I have it if I need it. And I have taken it on like a girl's trip where um, there was gonna be multiple people in the same room, like four people in one room, just, just to have a backup. So, and it did come in handy. So overall, love it. The next thing I got, I just think these are so stinking cute. <laughs> so it comes with a set of three of these. There's two stuck together there, okay. Anyway, so they are TSA approved toiletry bags. So these meet the one quart sized requirement and the fact that it has to be see-through. So I love that it's just this adorable pink leopard print. These also come in solid colors. They come in a kind of a standard leopard print. They come in black, just this kind of pink, solid pink color. There's one you can get multiple colors in, but uh, comes with a little top handle and the uh, hardware here is rose gold. While I don't need three of them probably, I could find multiple uses for them. So one, obviously, if you have a carry-on for uh, your liquids bag and all of that, it has to be in a quart size bag and it has to be see-through. So that's obviously number one. The second thing is what I would use another one for is your in-flight items that you just want right next to you, such as what I would put in there is probably lip balm, hand cream, my wireless headphones, sanitizer, stuff like that. I want to be right next to me and that way I can put my larger bag either under the seat in front of me or up in the top bin, but I don't have to rifle through my huge like luggage or anything like that in flight if I have all the necessary stuff in this little bag in the pocket right in front of me. So that's what I would use the like a second one for. And then the third, just to have as a backup, obviously you don't have to bring it, you can give it to a friend, whatever. Um, or if you, you know, need, basically if your liquids are in one bag and you still have other toiletries that aren't liquids and you need to stick them in another bag, you've got another option. The next thing that I picked up is this tiny sewing kit. I have been out on trips where I have had a strap break, I have had a button pop off that was important, that <laughs> made it more low cut than I wanted the outfit to be. So I think it is important Obviously, I don't think they'll let you bring this on if you have a carry-on. So this is something for like a checked bag only probably. It's probably frowned upon by TSA. <laughs> but I think this is just like a tiny little perfect size. It comes with an array of different threads. You can always refill this as well. Comes with a little button snaps, a safety pin, um, other little pins, a tiny pair of tweezers that probably would not work. And then this tiny little itty bitty pair of scissors there but just kind of everything that you would need to fix a minor issue. Like, obviously you're not gonna hem a full on dress or anything, but to fix like a strap or a button or something like that, this is perfect. The next thing that I picked up, I got for my trip to Hawaii. So while some of the beaches are sand, some of them are like very rocky where you're probably gonna need some water shoes. So I had a pair of just very flimsy, cheapy water shoes, and obviously they're terrible. <laughs> and I think they already have holes in them. Uh, and so I threw them away. So what I ended up finding on Amazon is these, I think they are just so stinking cute. They actually look like regular shoes, which is kind of what I liked, but they've, I haven't tried these on just yet, but they, they literally just came in but the sole of them is just like a regular shoe. Like you can tell it is tough, but it is like flexible. So like you could probably just wear these like walking around on the pavement and be fine and then go into the water. They're definitely so much better quality than the ones I previously had. Also, I love the color of them as well. So it says these are quick dry barefoot water shoes and it says with drainage 
driving yoga upstream. I don't know what that is, to be honest. Overall, love the color of them, love the style of them. Um, I did choose to get a size 10 in these. Usually I'm a nine, nine and a half in wide width shoes. So next on to one of my most favorite categories for travel, which is tech. So the first thing that I have is new for me and it is just cool. Like it's just, yeah, I, I'll show you here. So it is called the iWalk portable charger. Um, I got it in the pink color. And what this is, is you can see from the picture here. So it plugs directly into your phone. And I can't show you because my phone's what I film on. So it plugs directly into the bottom of your phone. So let's say your phone's running out of battery and you just need a charge. So this is a rechargeable battery, um, obviously for your iPhone. And then you just plug this directly into the bottom of it and you can still use your phone and still film on your phone while it's getting charged. So I thought this was so genius. She's a little hefty though. But yeah, I thought this was so incredibly genius. I had to have it, especially with like when I'm out um, trying to film or anything like that. Perfect. Just thought this was super, super cool and so incredibly useful. Okay, so the next thing that I got is, it's just cool, okay? Especially if you need a tripod for filming or whatever. If you're shooting outdoors, heck, if you're shooting indoors, like this will work. But it's so compact that I had to have it. So basically this, it comes with a little Bluetooth remote. There we go. Okay, so this is the little Bluetooth remote and you just charge it. Where's the end? There's a charger end. So you charge it and then it clips back in here. But this is a full on tripod. So this is where it starts to spread so you can um, set it up. And then you just push up on this part to make this top part come out. This is what holds on to like your phone or camera or whatever. And then watch. <laughs> so this gets crazy long. So also if you need it as, watch your fingers cause it will pinch you. But um, if you need it as a selfie stick, that's also what it can be as well. So Oh, selfie, selfie, selfie. Um, so I thought this was just so stinking cool, plus with the remote. And then also this moves every which way. So you can like film down if you are doing like a, like a cooking or you need an aerial shot or something like that. And then it bends back if you want to do it like this. So just nifty as heck. Okay. And, um, this is one of my newest favorite, like travel gadgets. I love again, how compact it is. It's actually pretty light for as much as it does and fits into a bag. Super easy. I think it also comes in black. Obviously I got the white one. The next thing that I got also looking cool, but it is the Joby suction cup and gorilla pod arm. This is really for like a GoPro. Basically it's got like a extremely durable suction cup that will stick to surfaces and then you attach the GoPro to it. But then this arm bends every which way and every configuration that you can think of. So what I was planning to use this for is really like filming while you're driving kind of thing. So you can definitely suction cup it to the, um, you know, windshield and film like that and get yourself driving. But this is what I picked this up for and super, super like durable. And these things just like pivot around so you can twist this all sorts, which ways. Yeah, thought that was super nifty for filming. I use the GoPro, I think I have the seven, the Hero 7, I think. 
if you need an action camera, get a GoPro. I have been amazed with the quality. Um, you can actually, I'll link it down below the one that I have. I know, I think there's like a GoPro 10 now, so I'm sure they've updated it a lot, but you can talk to it and tell it to start filming with the seven, I think go forward, but obviously has impeccable stabilization. Um, so you're not getting this just rocky, crazy video. That's just like, what the hell's going on? Goes directly into the water. You don't need a waterproof case for it or anything like that. And the app is incredibly easy to use. And that was the biggest selling point for me in a GoPro is I had another action camera that was a heck of a lot cheaper, but I couldn't get the video onto like the app. And it was just, it was a flipping nightmare to try and edit the video and then to get it anywhere, anywhere else basically than off this stupid camera. And I was just like, I am not a patient person. That is something that I lack heavily. I am not patient at all. So instead of trying to fiddle with it, honestly, I just went and bought a GoPro. And that's how I roll. Um, <laughs> because I was like, the app is just so much easier to deal with. All the reviews of pretty much all these other action cameras were like, you know, it's, it takes amazing video or whatever, but it's a nightmare to try and deal with their, the, you know, app or the software or whatever to actually, you know, deal with the video where GoPro, it was, the opposite. It was like, you know, you can do so much in the app. It's so easy to use, intuitive, all of that. So if you're looking for an action camera, that's what I recommend. And that's why. Um, so link down below again, I'll link the, the newest one as well. But the one I have is the seven. It's a few years old um, and still amazing. Next up for tech, and I did mention these in my first video, um, but I just can't say enough good things about them. It is the Apple AirPod Pros. These are the second generation. Um, I've got the cute little case on here, but basically these are them. The case charges the little AirPods, if you didn't know. And these are also noise canceling on a flight <laughs> when you have the noisy airplane you've got all the people there hopefully you're not next to a screaming child but these are a lifesaver and again most of the time i i fly southwest so they have um, on their app where you can watch movies from your own phone so these connect to your phone and whatnot i also did buy another cute little case for them look at my little cactus case isn't me cute so i think i'm gonna switch that one out but this is like a kind of a glitter pink silicone came with a little puffy ball so both are super super cute Overall, the noise canceling on these is impeccable. I was shocked the first time that I used them but because you can actually hear it cancel out all the sound and it is a trip. So I was like, whoa, oh my gosh. So I heavily recommend these. And if you are looking for something more like the wireless Bluetooth actual headphones, the ones that I use are really like inexpensive and they are not noise canceling, but I really do not like the, the ones that cover my ears um, that are noise canceling. While they work well, my ears just get sweaty and gross and I hate it, okay? <laughs> so that really, really bugs me. And what I found with like the really nice quality ones, like the Bose ones, like Honey Boo Boo has them, and he absolutely loves them, but they like almost suction cup to your ear and it to me, it causes that like wetness and nasty, like f I hate it. So it has great sound, but I can't stand it for probably more than 30 minutes, 40 minutes, if that. Um, but the headphones that I actually use, they are a much cheaper version. They're, I think they were like 30, $40 maybe. So I'm gonna show you those as an alternative if you have the same issues as I do with the actual like big headphones. Okay, so these headphones were actually, um, I looked them up, they're about $60 or so. Um, but of course I had to get <laughs> the rose gold. I mean, do you know me yet? Anyway, so this has like the really soft like ear cushions there. It'll also tell you right and left in case you don't know your right and left. Obviously I don't because I have them backwards right now. But they're just very easy to use. They are so incredibly comfortable. The other thing that I like is it comes with a little travel case. 
So something that you can toss in your bag also comes with the little cord here. Let me shove it up there. But like, it's like a little velvety kind of lining here. Toss them right in there when you fly and then it zips closed. Love that it protects them, but these have great sound quality. Again, they're not the noise canceling. So if that's what you're looking for, it's probably not it. But you know what? My ears don't sweat all weird in these like they do <laughs> the, um, the ones that like suction cup to your head. So that's just my preference. If you're looking for something that is noise canceling and really good quality, I will also link the um, Bose ones that my um, Honey Boo Boo has. He really, really enjoys those and the sound quality is impeccable. Um, obviously noise canceling, like you gotta like, if he has them on, I have to like yell at him to like, like, hello, are you alive? <laughs> like, so they really are noise canceling. Um, it's just not what I prefer. And hello, I wanted cute ones, duh. These also come in a really pretty like electric blue and then like a, a burgundy kind of purple, what they call red, which is, it's definitely not red. Um, but also in black. So they do come in a few options. If I saw that burgundy color, I might've opted for that one, but I do love the rose gold. So, you know, next time if these stop working or something. And I've had these for, I wanna say about six months now and haven't had any problems with them. So overall, highly recommended from me. In the description, it also says those headphones have a 40 hour battery life. I think that's probably pretty accurate because I actually, so I do um, a little bit of gaming. Um, and so I pretty much use them just about every day for several hours. And I can probably go two weeks, if not more, um, before actually having to charge them. So they last a really, really long time as well. So overall, again, highly recommended. It does say that they're active noise canceling. So I don't know. I don't feel the difference of like the difference of noise canceling between these and those is night and day. So I'll say that I don't, I don't think they're really noise canceling. I think that's like fake, but whatever. I still like them. Okay. So new day, new me, more gadgets. <laughs> so, uh, I, after I filmed part of this video, I was waiting on some other things to come in that I had recently ordered and wanted to try out. Um, and so the first one, I just think it's so stinking cool, to be honest, especially if you're somebody that gets hot really easily or if you're going to a hot climate area. And this thing is basically a rechargeable neck fan. And it comes in a bunch of different colors. So it comes in like black, white. Um, I got the pink. So this is it. Already opened it and already tried it out. So this made me think of my friend Christy because uh, the last time we went on a cruise, like every night at like the same time, she would like have a hot flash. And <laughs> so um, she was actually over last night and I had her try this sucker out and she was about it. She's like, I'm going to order my own. This thing is fantastic. It has three different speed settings. So you got high, medium and low, rechargeable uses a USB-C charger that it obviously comes with. And it, the little um, button to turn it on, it just blends in seamlessly here. But let me see if you can hear it. So it has like where it sucks in the air, I guess like over here, the little fans are here and then it pushes it up around your neck. So you can just like walk around with your own personal fan. I don't know if you're going through menopause, you know, better than one of those that sticks out in your face, which is so weird, or like having to hold one up. Like this is just effortless and I am here for it. Okay. I am ready <laughs> to go on to like a tropical vacation with my little fan. And then Christy was saying like for in the airplane, like sometimes it gets really hot in airplanes. This would be perfect as well. So this does work really well so this is the first speed where's the thing and then you just push the so the power button is what changes the speed so i don't know if you can hear it get a little louder but and then that's the third speed and then it turns off 
So it can last anywhere from four hours up to 16 hours, depending on what speed you have it on. So obviously if you have it on the turbo speed here, um, it's only gonna be about four hours, but if you keep it on kind of the low setting, then it's gonna last a lot longer up to that 16 hour mark. So this thing, is pretty cool. Also, my other friend Nicole was saying that um, she works in a coffee shop. She was saying her baristas have these as well because it does get hot around the coffee and they love these things. So that's another thing. Like if you know somebody who's a barista, maybe a perfect gift. If you know someone who just gets hot really easy and travels, perfect gift. Or just is going through like, you know, the change, then bam so much easier than having to walk around with like a fan and hold it up and all of that you just throw it on your neck your hands free easy peasy the next thing that i thought was super cool is this three in one nano wireless magnetic charger it also folds up so let me get out the box here okay so once you wrestle it out of the box it comes with the charger the cable and then this is the actual device here. So this does, this part has to be plugged in. So it takes the regular, I think it's like, they call it the fast charger. Maybe that's a USB-C. I think that's a USB-C charger, but whatever, they give you the cable. And this thing is super cool because you can plug in one little pad here and it charges all, and I had it upside down, sorry. So, so you plug in, one little device and it will charge for you wirelessly your iPhone, your iWatch and your AirPods. It has little pictures there. So you just set each of those on here and it will charge all three just using one plug. Also, this thing folds right up and is super like super compact, easy to bring when you're traveling absolutely thought this was the coolest or one of the coolest things I've seen in a really long time as far as chargers and charging multiple devices. Obviously, this only works with Apple. So it has to be iPhone 14 Pro Max or Plus 1312 series AirPods. And then the iWatch, it has to be a three or two Pro is what it says here. Yeah, so I have an iPhone 12, it works on here. So basically I, iPhone 12 and up will work on this. Um, and then your AirPods and the Apple Watches. So I thought that was super cool, convenient, really small. Had to have it and try it out. So overall works great. The next thing I picked up is this. What is it you ask? Well, so glad you did. So basically, it is the tiniest Bluetooth speaker that I've ever seen in my life. So I have pretty small hands, like I feel like this thing fits in the palm of my hand. So she is tiny, it takes a USB-C charger. She's a little hefty because they're packing a lot of uh, stuff into this little thing. But this is a Bluetooth mini speaker. It has enhanced bass and high definition sound. It is compatible with iPhones, iPads, um, it says Nexus, laptops, and more. This is the rose gold color, of course. They do have other colors, black and silver. But this thing is actually, for the size, is great. <laughs> I have a DOS Bluetooth speaker that I use all the time, and this one is surprisingly pretty good. Also, it is waterproof, so you can drop it in water. She is fine. Nothing is going to happen to it. Overall, like, I recommend this for travel because whenever I travel, we like music in the hotel room. So you could bring this. It's not going to take up hardly any space at all and use this so it's, it gets louder than like iPhones or Samsung phones or whatever. And hook up your phone to it, of course, wirelessly, and just is so fun. Also, when we went to Cancun, this guy had a little portable speaker that he had brought that was also waterproof because we were floating around the 
uh, pool at like an all-inclusive resort and he was playing the hits okay like he had the good music and if you are that person don't be bringing that weird ass music up in there okay you better bring the hits if you're going to try and play it for everyone um <laughs> but that was also something we're like next time we're bringing a bluetooth speaker and so i had to get this as well now I absolutely love it because it's just tiny and cute. And then it also comes with its little case as well. So I love that you can, you know, you can hook it onto a backpack if you want to. Easy to throw in there. Again, super tiny, but packs a punch with sound. The other thing that I picked up is this travel mirror. So the other one that I had was, um, honestly, it was pretty bulky. I still really like it because it has the magnifying side and the regular side and both sides light up, but it is like that thick and it folds down into itself, but it is very bulky. So I was looking for something a little bit slimmer and smaller, and this is fantastic. So this, let me open it up, turns into a stand. So it will put your mirror at an angle or you can angle it a little bit differently, but it also lights up. And the nifty thing about this is, so this is the dimmer setting. And if you just hold the button, you can see it gets really bright. And let me see if it'll go back down. Go back down. There it goes, it starts dimming. And then that is just on and off here. So super easy to use. It doesn't have the magnifying, but with the light, it still amplifies everything because you know hotel lighting is usually terrible and super easy, rechargeable. You don't have to put batteries in this thing or anything like that. Got it in the rose gold, of course, but there are, I think there's like white and black. I think there's a lavender kind of color. So yeah, and the um, it's five inches, 5.1 inches across here, 7.6 down. So it is still something, it's like, I would say like a Kindle size. Overall, super compact, still gonna give you that light that you need and great for travel. The other thing that I would put in my in-flight bag is, um, I talked about this on my last video. I have, I ordered a black one but I needed another one for Honey Boo Boo, so I decided to give him the black one, and then I'm getting this, I got this super cute little lavender one. But this thing is amazing. So this will, this end holds your phone, like right there, and then this is like a clamp that clips onto like the little seat folder table thing in front of you, and then this you can clip your phone to, so when you're watching, uh, TV on your phone or Netflix or whatever movie they have available. You don't have to sit there and hold your phone. Also, you're not craning your neck down, which if you're on a longer flight can definitely get uncomfortable. This thing can also sit on the tray table in front of you when it's down. And if you just angle it, you can do it that way. Um, so you can also clip this to like a table if you need to, use it as a selfie stick. So this thing is just, it gets really compact and it's just such a nifty little contraption. Um, I will obviously have this link down below as well, but this is just super, super cool. Absolutely love these. That's why I had to buy another one. But that's also what I would put in my in-flight bag is this little contraption. All right, so that is my travel gadget guide part two. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you've tried any of the items or if you're just as excited as I am about all of them or if you have other items that you really love and recommend, let me know because I will try them out. Um, everything is linked down below, of course, if you would like to purchase it. So easily accessible for you guys. And then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, join the Thick Girl Gang and give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Bye guys.